Greetings, fellow Redstoners. Um, this is Guy1234567890 here with an update video regarding my uh, three tick pipeline CPU I'm attempting. And uh, I'd just like to show you guys the uh, timing that sort of goes into making all this happen. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, oh, I should probably tell you what I've added to the ALU to make it into an almost complete CPU. Uh, I've added some registers uh, on both sides, totaling in 32 bytes of memory, which should be enough to keep this going for a little bit. Uh, I've got uh, uh, write decoders, read decoders on both of these, and uh, the way I put them together is a little bit messy, but it works. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have all my uh, instruction bits laid out here, and uh, I have my data in, data out bus uh, sort of ready for me to, oh wait, no I didn't, oh yeah, the server got rolled back because of a glitch. Anyway, uh, I guess I didn't do that. <laughs> um, okay, well. Uh, everything else should be in order though. So here I have um, my read inputs and this is where I based all the timings of the uh, CPU off of. So it took 13 ticks for my read input to go from here through the decoders up through this mess onto the uh, data lines and through here and into the ALU. So that took 13 ticks. And what that means is I have to time my ALU operations around that such that I can change my ALU operation with other data still in the ALU, otherwise I wouldn't be able to accomplish a three tick pipeline. So uh, I had to make this, my ALU input, uh, reach the same point in 13 ticks. So let's see if I did that one, whoops, one, Two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine for the torch, ten, and let's look at my uh, invert B input, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And on the thirteenth tick, it reaches this X nor. Now, uh, what I had to do was for the other commands, uh, like uh, flood carry or and carry in, I had to make those so that they reached their destinations uh, by the time the same data that received this inversion input uh, to get there. So it takes two ticks through this XNOR and then another tick to get inverted and at this point it's making a NAND and uh, for example this OR input uh, would have to take 16 ticks to get there so it can disable this torch and prevent an AND. So let's see if I managed to do that. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hi, shrub. Um, eight, nine for the torch, ten, ten here, and then finally, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and 16 and on the 16th tick it powers this dust and this torch will change according to What it needs to by the time the data gets there and then the most important thing was timing it so I can actually save that output and uh, So let's see what happens. It takes uh, Three more ticks for the data to get through the system. So 17 18 19 20 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 from the three tick repeater. And what I had to do was make sure that this repeater and all the other ones like it depower in time for this data by the time it propagates through the system. So uh, let's see if I managed to do that. So let's see if my right inputs get there by the time I want. So I have, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five three tick repeaters, so it's 15 ticks. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Ooh, getting it close, 23, 24, and 25. It's there exactly in time. Very good job, repeaters, good job. So, uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to be doing it. And uh, I will be releasing update videos regularly, uh, more likely on the weekends than not because of school and that sort of thing. So uh, look forward to this getting finished within the following weeks or so. Uh, anyway. Uh, I forgot to mention the, at the beginning of the video, but I'm on the Redstone Development Foundation server, and uh, the IP is mc.redstonedev.net, and our website is redstonedev.net. Come on and check us out. We have a bunch of cool redstoners, like Shrog over here, who's derping around, doing what redstone is meant to be used for, and he's parkouring around like a boss. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.